The Invictus Games came to a close last night with a sold-out concert at London's Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. About 26,000 people turned out for the concert and closing ceremony. 98 U.S. wounded warriors were among about 400 injured military athletes from 13 countries who competed in the first ever Invictus. Among those attending the Games was the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral James Winnefeld. Staff Sergeant Peter Ising reports. So it's going to be USA 1. The Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral James A. Winnefeld Jr., flew across the Atlantic to check out the action at the Invictus Games in London. During his visit, he got to see the United States compete in track and field events. The Admiral felt that all service members that are still active duty can learn a lot from the wounded warriors competing today. Well, I think one of the things I learned when I watched them is the triumph of ability over disability. I mean, these folks have been through so much. They've given so much to their country, and they've, they've suffered wounds both internal and external. And they're showing us that through their hard work and their team, teamwork and their companionship that they're able to overcome all of that and become something that's bigger than their injury. His Royal Highness Prince Harry of Wales is hosting the Invictus Games, and during his visit, the Admiral took the time to personally thank him with a gift. Uh, tremendous thanks to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry uh, for their tremendous generosity and support in putting this whole event together so quickly and so professionally. It's really a treat for us all to be here, and it's a, a wonderful experience for, for people who have given so much to their countries, uh, and we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. Reporting from London, England, I'm Staff Sergeant Pete Ising.